you know, for a person with so many legitimate reasons to be pissed off, I sure spend a lot of time justifying my anger. You know, of course, I have to justify to those spunky, unflappable e-missionaries that see atheist in the show title and take that as an invitation to talk me into trying just the tip of Jesus just to see how it feels. And as soon as I dive into these conversations, I know the clock is ticking on my anger. And as soon as it comes out, I'm going to face the how can you be so angry at a God you don't believe in apologetic? You know, of course, at the time, it'll be patently obvious that what I'm angry about in this instance is their stubborn refusal to accept X equals X levels of logic. But that won't matter because apparently all these assholes work from the same flowchart. And on that flowchart, why are you so angry at God is the standard response to go fuck a puppy, you twat. But when it comes to the Christians and woo peddlers, I kind of get it, right? I, I mean, it makes sense just from a perspective of psychological projection, right? When they get into faith-based arguments with non-believers, they also get angry sometimes. And when they get angry, it's because they're being forced to deal with the fact that they know they're wrong, right? Their chief frustration in a debate is the fact that X does in fact equal X. So when they see an atheist getting angry in a debate, it's probably logical to assume that that means they're starting to see why their argument doesn't hold up. I mean, keep in mind, these people don't even know what it's like to be in a religious argument when you have logic on your side. But I also have to justify my anger to my fellow atheists. And that one pisses me off because, look, if anybody should understand why I'm so angry, it should be atheists. The, the other people that fully recognize the rank bullshit being foisted upon their fellow humans. And, and then they want to know why I'm angry at them wanting to know why I'm angry. And I have to justify my anger about justifying my anger. And it gets all inception levels of weird. Now, to be fair to my rational critics here, I, I, I don't think any of them are asking why I'm angry. Right. They get that. They're asking why I podcast angry. You know, anger drives a lot of us, even the nice guys of atheism. But when it comes to outreach, a lot of these people feel like we shouldn't cater to the stereotype of the angry, ranting atheist. We should be calm, collected, inviting, and friendly so that people leaving church can see that there's every bit as warm and welcoming an environment for them on our side of the aisle. And I get that. I mean, if, if nobody in the atheist movement was doing that, I'd recommend it highly. I, I wouldn't do it because I'd be pretty fucking awful at it, but I certainly support the people who are. But that's not enough for everybody. If for some people, maybe it is. For some people, maybe it's enough to walk out of the doors of the church and into the doors of their local skeptics group and just move on with their lives. But for a lot of us, the shift doesn't really come when we realize that religion is bullshit. It comes when we realize it's okay to be angry about that. I got an email this week that really reminded me of that fact, and it was a crazy personal story, so I don't want to share any of the details of it, except to say that this was a person that got out of religion and figured her job was done. And like so many of us, she just said in her head one day, oh, you know what? It's all bullshit. That makes sense. That way it all makes sense. But like so many before her, she also had it in her head that she should be tolerant of other people's religion, right? That she should respect the bullshit even once she knew it wasn't true. And, you know, that's what our culture tells us, isn't it? You should be tolerant of viewpoints that you disagree with. And I mean, I guess that's true in the sense that you shouldn't actively destroy that which irks you. But tolerance is only a virtue insofar as the thing you're tolerating is virtuous. And being tolerant of religion allows you to be abused by it even after you stop believing in it. You know, the fear of hell and the sexual taboos linger. The, that feeling of brokenness your pastor cultivated over so many years sticks to you. And in all too many instances, the psychological abuse from the still religious people around you maintains its justification because you're still tolerating it. You're still trying not to put your beliefs on a pedestal above the beliefs of others just because yours are true, right? Because that's what your culture tells you. It tells you to tolerate and not to be angry. But in this case, anger can be its own reward. Right. I mean, like, raise your hand if your fear of hell started to abate when it occurred to you just how nakedly self-serving it was. Raise your hand if your frustration ever forced you to step in when you saw how blatantly a church was taking advantage of someone you love. Raise your hand if your voice rose in step with your blood pressure. You know, fuck it. Raise your hand if your anger ever forced you to stand up for yourself. Anger isn't a vice. It's a tool. And when you're surrounded by people trying to drag you around by your imaginary soul, it can be a survival mechanism. Because when the right answer is culturally unacceptable, most of us need a pretty good well of anger to say it anyway. And sometimes the right answer is because your pastor is a fucking con artist. And sometimes it's because prayer is nonsense. And sometimes it's even I want you out of my life. And those are all a lot easier to say when you're angry. Look, I've done plenty of diatribes on what I'm angry about, right? I mean, in a sense, that's what they're all about. But here and there, I feel the need to advocate on behalf of the scathing part of the title, too. You know, when you hear from people every day, like I do, who say, 
your show gave me permission to be angry or, or your show let me know that my anger was okay. You just internalize it, right? Anger becomes as self-evident as, you know, I don't want to swallow this bee. But you guys don't get those emails. You don't see all the stories I do of anger and rage unlocking the last shackles of bondage. And you don't hear from all the people who never recognized religion's true colors until they allowed themselves to see red.